So it, it took nearly all day for this boat to get cleared out. It was one of the hottest debuts of the show so far. Yeah. I think we're finally going to have a chance to get aboard the Beneteau 62 Grand Trawler. Right, this is a boat we've been looking forward to for, I feel like, two years now since we saw the first press release it was going to be coming out. Here she is. She just barely made it. And from what I understand, uh, we all know about the Swift Trawler line of Beneteau. They built over 1,300 hulls of that, those boats and very successful. This is not a Swift Trawler. This is a Grand Trawler, and we're going to go inside and see why. Let's check it out. Okay, there's still a few people on board, but we're going to kind of work our way through here. So follow me. Let's go. I would say that spec at a high So here we are in the salon of the Beneteau Grand Trawler 62. Uh, the first thing I'm noticing here is we've got a nice light oak wood on the inside, and, and that's well lit by these massive windows. Uh, and just a really incredible open space here. You got the salon seating area at aft, nice entertaining space. As you go up a step or two, you've got the galley to port. Um, let's go up there and check it out. So we're amidships right now. We've got the galley to port, and the galley has a nice sliding door here. So the chef uh, is cooking a meal, and they can open and get a nice ventilation if they like. Um, nice windows, you don't feel like you're confined in a small space while you're cooking. To starboard, we've got this really innovative table. It's a dining table. This actually can be a separate dining area. You pull the table open this way, and you've got two chairs that sit here. You can actually get a, you know, a family or, or guests, up to eight to ten people sitting around the table here, which is kind of a neat space. And then as we move forward, you've got a nice side door uh, opening to the helm here. You've got twin helm seats, and this is just a really cool spot on the boat, and, and here's why. Uh, your line of sight is amazing. I'm looking pretty much right over the bow here. Uh, I've got great visibility. I feel like I'm in control of the boat. I'm forward. I'm feeling uh, what we're doing while we're cruising. Uh, also, this high sofa adjacent to the helm is a great spot for the kids, the wife, the guests, the friends. It's, it makes the helm a very social area with a great view. Very cool. Uh, this boat is propelled by 730 man engines, 730 horsepower man engines. And as I said before, it's not a swift trawler. And here's why. This boat was dis designed as a displacement hull. And it was designed to be optimized at about 9 knots. At 9 knots, your range is about 850 miles. Um, she can go up to about 20 knots, as they did in Cannes uh, at, 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 during a sea trial. At that, you're burning quite a bit of fuel, I'm not going to lie. You're, you're doing about 250 uh, mile range. But at 9 knots, she's very fuel efficient, and you're looking at 850 nautical miles, which is great for long range cruising. So something that really impressed me with this boat is the number of social spaces. There's great space in the cockpit, you got a forward sun pad, you got all the interior volumes, really massive. But here is where it really stands out for me. Forward sun pad. I know Alan Harper, our European editor, talked about testing the boat with dozens of guests aboard. And when you come up here, see the grill and all the seating, you really realize you could have a lot of people aboard before it starts to feel crowded. To speak for Andrew and I for a minute, as marine journalists, we cover a lot of boats, a lot of models that replace other models, they fall in the middle of the lineup, but it's always fun to get aboard the first of a new model range, and that's exactly what we have here with the Grand Trawler 62. I mean, we remember when the first Swift Trawler came out and then the Buzz came out there, or you got the new Grand Banks line. Those are the boats that really stick with you. And to me, as I go through this Grand Trawler, I see pieces borrowed from all over the Beneteau brand. I see the accommodations and the fit and finish of the Beneteau motor yachts, the MC line. I look at the Swift Troller down there and I see a lot of those troller touches made its way in. And to me, this, this is an exciting brand. This is really a culmination of all these other brands. And you know, you can find out more about this particular model at pastormaker.com, at pmymag.com. But stay tuned to both these titles because we're going to be hearing a lot more of this Grand Troller line in the years to come.